aspect. You know what the best part is, though, Mike, really? We get a first-hand look to see exactly how he's developing over these next couple hours. He'll try again here, second and ten. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. And that one's incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Looked like he might have gotten there early. Here's first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. On the bootleg, it's Williams. He'll find the first rounder out of Washington, Rome Odunze. A lot of terrific quarterbacks from Southern California, and here's another one. The rookie gets his team a first down. This is the connection that Bears fans have been dreaming about since these two guys were drafted in this previous spring's draft. I mean, they think they have one of the more formidable young quarterback wide receiver duos in the entire league. Williams, first overall pick. Adunze, number nine. The future looks bright in Chicago. Now the free agent signee from Philadelphia. It's DeAndre Swift. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Thrown quickly. That's more on the RPO. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. They'll look to pick this up. Third and a yard. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. He'll try to run for it. A gain of 11, and it's first and goal. Those plays are killers for a defense. You think you have the quarterback hemmed in. You think you have a chance for your pass rush to get you off the field. Instead, he gets away, picks up some tough yards, and sets his team up first and goal. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And this time, the rush gets home, and down he goes. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. From back at the 13-yard line, it is second and goal. They'll run, it's Swift. And it'll be a gain here, down to the 12-yard line. Good drive now faces a tough conversion. It is third and long. To throw is Williams. The pressure gets home, he's lost the football. Oh, he gets it right back. Oh, man, Greg, those must be scary times for a player. Not that it happened to you often, but he lost the ball but was able to get it back and avoid the turnover. Well, Mike, I hate to admit it, but unfortunately, I was in that situation <laughs> a few times. And I'll tell you what, when that ball pops out of your hand, the only thing on your mind is, is there anything I can do to get it back? In this case, he was able to get it back, and he dodged a bullet. Santos's kick is good. And the Bears will take a 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. 
but at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Marcus Jones now to return. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. Here's Gibson. And he'll take this up to the 30. A uh, pickup of five. Now Gibson. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. May now on first and ten. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Open man. That's the tight end, Hunter Henry. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. You talk about a quarterback getting bailed out. Man, that is a pick all day long. And as this defender enters the huddle, you see a bunch of his guys hitting him on the helmet. But I can promise you they're saying, next time, you got to come down with that one. It's the tight end, Henry, in motion. They'll go play action with May. That's over the middle and intercepted. T.J. Edwards. And the Bears are going to have it just past their 25. When you find yourself in this situation, Mike, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Second down and eight. Throwing is Williams. 
And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Here's Williams. He's got the hook up there to Ogunze. A game there of 11. First down, Chicago. These third down conversions are just so important, Mike. Everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's second and six. A play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. But this is taken in by a teammate. Well, fortunately for this quarterback, Mike, thanks to the alert play by one of his teammates, they're going to prevent this from being a turnover. It's just so hard as the quarterback. You're trying to keep your eyes downfield. You're trying to keep the plays alive. You have to feel the rush. You have to understand when that clock's going off, that ball in there needs to come out, or it certainly needs to be protected. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. To throw, it's Williams. The pressure gets there again, and again he goes down. I could go on and on about the offensive line breakdowns with this pass protection, and it's been flat-out brutal. But let's give some credit to the other side of the ball. They came in not only motivated to make a statement, but with a great game plan, and so far they've executed it to a T. On fourth down, here's the rookie, the Aussie, fourth-round pick, Tory Taylor, to punt for Chicago. That's Marcus Jones back to return for the Patriots. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. The motion man here is Bourne. To throw on first down is May. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. They just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. He'll find his man, that's Kendrick Bourne. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Mark him at the 48-yard line. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Here's May to throw it on first down. This one complete. K.J. Osborne with the grab. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. A carry now for Gibson. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. Has a similar effect. They pick up a good game and a first down. Set to go now on first and 10. 